Hey guys, happy Wednesday to all my eager eagles out there. I hope you had an amazing and awesome and productive Wednesday and it's the middle of the week so it's hump day. I also want to wish everybody a happy birthday that's um, celebrating a birthday today or had it yesterday or celebrating one tomorrow. I hope it is as amazing as you are. I also want to give a special shout out um, and say happy teacher appreciation week. Uh, to all my teacher friends out there, I know it's been extremely tough the last couple weeks, um, but you guys are killing it. It's awesome. I know everybody appreciates it. Your students, your kids, your puppies, your cats at home, they get to spend more time with you. So um, I just want to wish you all a happy teacher appreciation week. Um, and if you absolutely need anything at all, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm here. Um, I'm in this with you. We're all in this together. So yeah, happy teacher appreciation week. I miss seeing you guys all the time. I see missing you on the every day of the week and in between classes. It's amazing, but I appreciate you. And I just wanted to let you know that. Also Eagles, I just want to give you a quick reminder that you should always be checking your class dojo. You should always be checking your Google Classroom because we're going to be posting, we've been posting updates the last couple weeks uh, daily. It gives you Zoom reminders on what Zoom is happening each week. Um, remember Twitter, if you want to check out the John Adams PE Twitter, it's at John Adams PE1 or the YouTube page, which is John Adams Elementary PE on the YouTube so you can uh, subscribe to us so you can see all the crazy fun videos that we have and all the activities that we can do. So I think that's all the announcements I've got. I know that was pretty fast, but now it's time to get into what we're going to talk about today. So what does the word balance mean? Why is that important? And why would I even make a whole YouTube video about it? So just take a second, think about what balance is and why, we, we, why we're even talking about it. I'll wait, just keep going. Keep thinking. Got it? Okay, cool. Now let's talk about it. So the official definition of balance is actually the even distribution of weight that makes someone or something to remain upright and steady. So that was a lot of big words, right? So what does that mean? Balance for us means our ability to stay upright, some, somebody or something without falling over and to remain steady. So without shaking or swaying back and forth, we wanna be steady and balanced the entire time. So why is it important for us as human beings, as learners, as healthy individuals? Well, did you know that you are actually balancing right now, whether you're standing up on two feet, right? Or you're sitting down, your ability to not fall over, oh man, is an example of balance. And we want that as human beings, but not only do we need balance when we're just standing or walking or running, we need it in fitness. Now, I know the first thing that everybody thinks about is, ooh, balance is all about gymnastics and twirling and flips and ever, and you're right. Gymnastics is super important and uh, super hard and takes a lot of balance. So take, for example, Simone Biles. Simone Biles is an Olympic athlete and she's an Olympic gymnast. And she's in this picture, she's on a balance beam, balancing on one foot. That shows an intense amount of control and balance just to be able to do this, right? I know that in PE, we actually have our own balance beam. So some of you guys are really good at it, but this is next level. And we're going to be practicing some, practicing some stuff in a little bit for you to hopefully become Olympic athletes like my girl Simone Biles. Now, also, it doesn't necessarily have to just be on a balance beam. It can be balancing on your hands, like doing a handstand. Um, but it doesn't just have to involve gymnastics, right? We've got so many other athletes in every single sport that you can possibly even think of does balance. They incorporate balance into the sport. Take, for example, Kevin Durant. He's an NBA basketball player. This is actually a picture of him shooting a shot in a game off one foot. 
you have to be able to jump up and land on one foot or both feet to, exa uh, to show balance, right? Take, for example, LeBron James. He's one of the greatest athletes of all time. In this picture, he's actually using two balance balls underneath his feet in order to warm up for a game. That stimulates the muscles in his hips and his body. And that way, when he's on the floor and he's on a stable surface, he's got way more balance because his body was on those balance balls, right? Another thing I know one of your, or a couple of your favorite athletes, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, right here, check out Lionel Messi. He's actually having to stay on his feet because if you're on your, uh, if you're on the ground in uh, soccer, guess what happened? You're probably not doing very well. So Lionel Messi is staying on his feet, balancing, trying to be, or trying to get the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo in this picture, check him out. He's actually balancing the ball, right? Last couple of weeks, we, or a week ago, we talked about uh, hand-eye coordination, which is our ability to use our hand and connect it with our eyes, right? In order to achieve or accomplish a goal or control an object. Well, in soccer and juggling in soccer actually not only takes hand-eye coordination, but guess what? It also takes balance. So here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna start balancing and we're gonna start doing some activities that's gonna warm your whole body up to practice and get better at balance no matter what sport you play, whether it's soccer, whether it's gymnastics, whether it's baseball, uh, football, anything you've got, especially gymnastics. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. So the only thing you're gonna need today, that's it, is a an open space, just like normal, because we don't wanna knock over anything at the house, and a pillow. Yes, this pillow seems weird and we're gonna do some funny little things with it. I have a smaller pillow, but if you wanna get a pillow that's off your bed or something like that, that's cool too. So go get a pillow, go find an open space and I'll do my stuff real quick and I'll set up and then we'll get ready to go. Cool, see you then. Okay friends, now that I've got my nice open space, yes, 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 yes. Now we're gonna work on our balance. We're gonna work on some stuff that's kind of stationary, which means we're not really moving around. And then we're gonna get increasingly difficult, which means it's gonna start out pretty pretty easy. And then we're gonna work up a little bit harder and a little bit harder and a little bit harder and a little bit harder. And guess what? When we get to the end, it should be very challenging, right? Um, don't worry if it seems like it's, oh man, I'm not getting this, Mr. Wood, I can't do this. Nope, take that mindset. Get it out, because we don't need that in here. All you need is a positive mindset and a nice open space. And remember, if you've got a pillow, awesome, do it. I'll have some activities at the end. Cool? So let's get right into it. First thing we're going to do, make sure you have your nice open space. All you're going to be doing is balancing, hands out, on one foot. Now, I know this seems pretty easy, but you should feel in your toes, the toe or the feet that are the foot that's on the ground, you should feel it moving back and forth. That's your body balancing, right? Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, you can try and move your foot out, right? Maybe your hands need to be down here. Try moving your hands up and down, but we want to try and stay as still as possible. If you feel like you're wobbling, don't worry, put your foot, you don't have to put your foot up as high as I am. You can put your foot low, close to your, uh, to your other foot, and then from there. Good. Now we're gonna do the opposite foot, and we're gonna go find our balance, hands out, and here. Good job, guys. Fantastic, I know you guys are doing great. Remember, you're finding yourself all wobbling. Don't bring your foot up super high. You don't need to. Just bring it closer to your body. And then if it makes sense, if you feel okay, bring your leg higher. And then you can try and lift your leg higher. And relax. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna balance on one foot, but now this time, instead of just standing stationary, we're actually going to lift our foot up behind us and lean our body forward, okay? If you wanna put your hands out, that might help you move or balance side to side. 
but you should feel your knee and your foot shifting back and forth while balancing. If it's too, if this is too hard, stand up a little bit, but still try and get your foot to stay up off the ground. If it's too easy, try and see how, oh, see, it's okay if you mess up. See how low your chest can get to the ground and your foot can balance backwards. Hold it for a second, try and be as steady as possible. And relax. Great job. Now we're gonna do the opposite side because we wanna stay balanced, we need to do both sides. Now, I'm gonna face the opposite direction, right? And we're gonna do the same thing. Remember, if it's too hard or you're fine, if you're like, oh man, Mr. Wood, I can't do this, it's crazy. I need to make sure that I'm, or my, my chest is all over the place or I'm balancing and I can't, that's okay. Just don't go down as far, right? You can actually stand up to here and do that. Okay, so let's work on our balance. Hands out, lean forward, find that balance, keep your foot steady, nice breathing. If you wanna make it a little bit harder, bring your chest to the ground, still looking forward. If it's too difficult, make sure you stand up, but keep your foot off the ground. Hands out. Beautiful. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, so this next part, we were just balancing on two feet and then one foot. We got that down, right? So now let's make it a little bit harder, okay? These are gonna be, we're gonna work up the progression. We're gonna get a little bit harder, okay? Remember, if it's too difficult, just keep practicing. That's okay, we've got plenty of time, right? So now we're gonna be practicing on four parts of our body, four anchors to the ground, and three different anchors to the ground, and then two anchors to the ground, ready? So we're gonna work through this. Now, when I mean anchors, that's how many parts of my body are touching the ground. So when I do, when I say four, I'm gonna talk about my two hands, and my two feet, right? So four anchors to the ground. I'm gonna have my hands here and I'm gonna have my legs here, just like a bear crawl position or a push up position, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my one foot go in the air. Now we have three anchors on the ground. Cool, hold it for a second, balance, balance, balance. You don't want your leg way out to the side, you want it right behind you and back down. Now let's do our left leg in the air. Great job. Point your toe, wiggle your toes a little bit, wiggle, 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 and back down. Now this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. We're gonna do hand in the air, one hand in the air. So we've got three anchors still on the ground. And back down. Now we're gonna do the opposite side. Now. Try and make this side a little bit difficult. You can try to reach as high as you can to the ceiling, or if you wanna try and hold it lower to the ground, that's actually even harder, okay? So, now that we've done those, we've done four anchors to the ground, we've done three anchors to the ground, and guess what? Now we're gonna do two anchors to the ground, and it's not gonna be both our hands and both our feet. We're actually gonna do our side. Now. I'm gonna take my right hand first and my right foot first, and those are gonna be my two anchors this time, ready? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set up on my side, hand on the ground underneath my shoulder, foot out wide, and we're gonna go up, just like this, balance your hand straight in the air, and then when you feel stable, raise that top leg as much as you can so you look like a, a sideways star. Great job, great job. This is really hard, and relax. Now let's switch to the other side. And you're gonna remember, put your hand underneath your shoulder, leg to the side, and hips up off the ground. Woo, gotta find my balance. Beautiful, hand up in the air, and raise, 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 like a sideways star, sideways star. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and relax. Perfect, 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 perfect. If you want to try and make, I'm gonna show you a really cool thing you can do at your house to practice working on handstands. We're actually gonna use the side of the couch right there. Make sure that your parents are home when you're doing this, okay? So what's gonna happen? 
I'm going to slide the mat all the way underneath. I'm going to put my knees on the couch and I'm going to put my head or my hands underneath my head and I'm going to actually hold this and make sure all the weight is in my hands. Now from here, I'm going to get on my tippy toes. I'm going to put my bottom in the air and I'm going to practice holding this position. Okay. Head through the window of your arms. Hold, 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 hold and relax. Now, I'm going to show you one, one more step. And actually what's going to happen is I'm going to have one hand and I'm going to try and balance on one hand on the couch. Remember, 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 make sure you ask your parents or permission before you do this. Okay. So what it's going to look like, I'm going to get into the same position I was just in. My hands are on the ground. My knees are up. Now I'm going to put my feet up and I'm going to actually try and balance on one hand and then the other hand and then one hand and then the other hand and come back down. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of balancing. We balance on our feet. We balance on our hands. We balance on different anchors. We, how many did we do? I think we did four anchors. So two feet, two hands. Then we did two feet, one hand. We did two feet. Oh, we said that one hand, two feet. Um, my counting seems to be off. And then we did one anchor to the ground. Yeah. Okay, friends. Now all we're going to do is we're going to work on using an object because remember, we want to create balance with someone or something. Now we're going to use the pillow. If you don't have a pillow, that's fine. Some alternatives can be you can balance a tied up t-shirt. You can balance a ball if you have a ball. You can balance a bean bag. Um, you can make a, a put a Ziploc bag and put some rice or some sand in it. Um, my favorite, toilet paper. You can definitely use some toilet paper, but for right now, I'm gonna use a pillow. It's pretty soft, um, it's pretty lightweight, so it should work well, okay? So, we're gonna try and balance this object. First one, all we're gonna be doing at a medium level, so that's in between our body, we're gonna be balancing in our dominant hand. What's our dominant hand? Our dominant hand is the hand we write with. So, I can balance here, pretty easy. I can balance way up in the ceiling. I can balance it really low, beautiful. I can balance it behind me, you can't even see it. Magic, perfect, right? Now, let's go to our non-dominant hand. We're gonna balance in the middle, voila, ha ha, easy. You can do this. Now we're gonna balance it super high in the air, so high as you can go, and then down low. See how low you can balance. Can you balance it behind your back? Awesome, I'm gonna try and balance it underneath my, oh, switch hands, underneath my leg. Can you do that? Switch hands and balance it underneath your other leg. Awesome. Now, what are some other ways we can balance? Let's get kind of creative. When we're soccer juggling, you can actually try and balance it on your foot. hey -o, check that out. What about your non-dominant foot, the hand you, or the, uh, side of your body that you don't write with, balancing on one foot. Just remember, this is the same position we were just doing at the beginning of the video, right? Now, can I balance it on my shoulder? Voila. Can I balance it on my head? Oh yeah. What about balancing on one anchor, one foot, while on your head? Can we do that? All right, let's try it. So I'm here, balancing on my head. Oh, a little bit. Nice balance, hands out. Right leg comes up. Yeah. Now can I get low? Maybe a little bit, oh. Can I go forward? Stay nice and steady to the ground and back up. Can I do my other leg? Let's see. 
Can I go forward? Oh, and perfect. Now, before I go, here's my challenge to you. I want to see what did you use to balance? Where did you balance it? How did you balance it? Did you balance anything cool? All of that stuff, I want you to tell me. I can't wait. I will see you in your Zoom classes. Have a great rest of your week. I will see you on Friday for Flexibility Friday. Bye.